is the white lined Sphinx Moths, Hylus lineata. Don't know if I pronounced that right. Anyway, they're also known as hummingbird moths because many people mistake them for hummingbirds when they first see them. They hover over the nectar cups while they insert their very long proboscis into the flowers to get the nectar out. They feed mostly during the day, but they're also active at night. And because of their large population, these moths are some of the most important pollinators in the Southwest. And here you see them on a male hackberry tree that's blooming right now and which is hosting a variety of nesting birds as you can hear this is in my backyard after the summer rains begin the yellowish green caterpillars that will become these sphinx moths begin their massive march to new territory searching for soil that's easy to burrow in during this time, the two to three inch long caterpillars dominate the landscape, with possibly millions of individuals creeping along on this journey. They may stop a bit to eat on some plants, but mostly they're looking for a spot for pupation. Although the species has several generations during the year, only the last batch stages a fall parade. Now, the Tohono O'odham Indians used to take advantage of this windfall of animals, harvesting, prepping, and drying them to provide a fantastic source of high-protein, low-fat, low-cholesterol food for the winter. Ever had a fried grasshopper? Or a fried caterpillar? I know the Chinese eat them. My dad bought some at a store once. It was very gross. But, teach his own. Survival guys do it all the time. So anyway, this is the beautiful white-lined Sphinx moth, and I am so happy they're back.